And of course, in this situation, there's going to be an audit process as well, isn't there? And, and then a public reporting. So it's fundamentally about transparency, I suppose. One of the greatest problems for religious institutions has been the failure of transparency. The single greatest failure of the Catholic Church and others was a culture that in fact didn't want to be transparent. Everything was done secretly. It wasn't only to the public, it was to the people of the churches themselves. Even their own clergy were kept in the dark about the extent of the abuse. And so one of the things going forward is that we need a culture in institutions mm -hmm. generally, and churches in particular, that actually embraces transparency. Transparency about things that go wrong. Transparency about the responses to those things that have gone wrong. But also transparency about how they're actually going to improve things and fix things. And that's a very different mindset for institutions that have traditionally been private, secretive, and believing that uh, the less people know, the better it is. So this is a very big change. In trying to deal with the breach of trust that's occurred between the community and religious institutions, it's absolutely vital. The church has to be seen not only to embrace good standards and good practices, it has to be publicly accountable. It has to be accountable firstly to its own people, which it's not normally, and secondly to the people at large. I don't think the trust in churches can be restored until the publication of the standards, the publication of the audits, um, in fact, is uh, undertaken. Now, that will be a challenge for many in church and in many other institutions. But unless that occurs, I don't think the community will, in fact, nor necessarily should, in fact, uh, trust institutions. The days of being secret, of internalising these issues, of not telling people what's happening, I think have well and truly passed. And if they haven't, then in fact the church will never restore the trust of the people.